Okay, I made a said make a, a short video on um, my install of uh, Windows 11 on a HP Z600 system. So what I actually did is did, uh, utilizing a PCI card with two slots, one for uh, NVE and one the other for SSD. I was able to make a bootable system. Oops. Linda Windows 11 on it. Um, pretty much just a basic, you know, Windows 11 system with uh, no real updates uh, or other app programs installed besides um, Office uh, 2021, I believe, or basically just has Office Suite on there, Windows. Microsoft Office Suite. Um, otherwise, like I say, it's just a basic setup. Default Windows 11. But as you can see, it runs, and I guess that uh, um, it still gives the you know there's still potential of utilizing uh, you know these old workstations as. Uh, or, you know, uh, could be a CAD workstation. It could be a video editing workstation. It could be just a gaming system. Um, and there's really only, you know, maybe if one other hardware update that I think might be good if you were going to actually uh, have it as a workstation for, like, video editing or a CAD station, that would be maybe to add uh, a SAS 6 card to the system and use SAS hard drives rather than uh, SATA hard drives um, because of the speed you know and performance improvement of SAS over SATA and you know they 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 can be relatively cheap uh, fast performing system for Pretty much anything, I guess you know, basically you know, day to day uh, uh, use for day to day, you know, computing would be just fine too. Um, as uh, you know, that basically it has dual Xeon processors. Um, I think this one only has uh, maybe four core, but you know, two four core um, Xeon processors, so, so a total of eight. But I think that you can have a total of. 12 to 16 cores with you know a processor upgrade on this system and or you know utilizing a, a, a Z800 system um, like I say just you know everything is older the motherboard is older um, everything uh, is not new and so you're gonna have like a USB uh, 2 um, ports on it and I don't know if the Ethernet is gigabit or not but you know really I guess that you know if you're just looking for a cheap system that will probably perform at the same level of probably in a, you know an i5 to um, you know an i7 without you know spending a lot of money this would probably be you know something you could get um, you know in order to be a gaming system you just have to have a, a Probably a better um, video card than like uh, the GT 640 that I have in there, but I can't, you know, I wouldn't make any recommendations on what to, to get. But you can see there's plenty of room to actually add a, uh, a more advanced video card or GPU to the, you know, the system um, and make it work. And everything running off of an NVMe rather than um, um, being controlled or slowed down by the speed of the um, SATA 3 bus, 
you know, is, is actually going to, you know, it makes it run faster than even if you had a, you know, you bought a system with a, like a SSD card, hard drive in it. Um, it would still be running, like I say, off the SATA 3 um, bus rather than SATA 6, which newer systems have in them. So, but like I say, I guess if you're really, you know, looking at the, you know, the best, you'd probably get a SAS card and, and SAS hard drives rather than SATA altogether. Um, and, the, the, you know, that could even be true of, you know, using it for just a gaming system because, um, you know, it's, the read-write speeds are much faster with SAS than they are with uh, um, SATA. But anyway, I just wanted to do this video and show you that you can actually install um, Windows 11 on a HP Z600 um, and 800, but I don't have any other systems and you know, the newer stuff they probably installed just fine too, but um, I just had to do, you know, things um, kind of different, you know, to make it work, but you know, as you can see, it does work. So thanks for watching this video.